Rick Shankman is an historian and journalist behind the History News Network website. He's also the author of Political Animals, How Our Stone Age Brain Gets in the Way of Smart Politics. So, uh, Rick, on your website, you have a link to a story titled How to Read the JFK Assassination Files. So have you gone up and poked around and looked at some of them? Well, it's just been a couple of hours, so um, I really haven't had a chance to uh, do any digging. But just like the uh, um, sound bite you just heard in that uh, pretty good package, it's going to take months, months, possibly years for people to get through all this stuff. There's hundreds of thousands of potential documents uh, to be gone through, even with this somewhat limited uh, release that we had today. Well, I looked at some and so did a colleague and uh, we both kind of gave up. Some of this stuff is pretty boring and, and it's also handwritten and some of the handwriting is just plain terrible. It's even worse than mine. So will these records do anything to silence uh, these people who have been clamoring about these controversies and conspiracies, do you think? Well, one thing is that uh, Donald Trump has just uh, uh, put a new wrinkle in this. Everything was supposed to come out today. He's now uh, put the kibosh on that. He's limited it to uh, 2,800 instead of 3,100 files. Uh, each file has uh, tens of thousands, potentially, uh, of documents within it. Uh, so that's going to encourage conspiracy-minded uh, people who are thinking, oh, the deep state has even gotten to Donald Trump. So I'm not sure that this is going to solve any problems. And if you look at it from a historian's perspective, Conspiracy thinking goes along with just about every big event that we have in our history. In 9-11, right after 9-11, you had the conspiracies about Israelis having uh, advanced word of what was going on. You also have to think about one thing here, which is that the institutions in our society that are the least transparent are the ones that Americans trust the most. That's the Supreme Court and the military. We know very little, actually, about what goes on behind the scenes in both of those institutions. Those are the ones Americans have a great deal of trust in. The institutions that we know everything about, the Congress, uh, the White House, certainly uh, Donald Trump's White House leaks like a sieve, that's where we have the least trust. So that's uh, a problem in our society.